September 10th, 2021. It's a beautiful day here in Boonville, North Carolina. We're gonna go roll the Mako out, uh, head down to Lake Norman Air Park, shooting some footage with uh, Brian Wallstrom from the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Let's get this guy out and party. Mako has got, uh, you know, we put a pretty decent Garmin panel in it. Mako's got a Garmin 345 transponder, a GTR 200 COM. It is not NAV, just COM. I went with the Garmin 660 and the JPI 350 engine analyzer. We got rid of all the engine instrumentation here and just moved some stuff around on the panel, brought it into the 21st century. And Spearfield traffic, Mako is departing southbound off of runway 20. Okay, flaps, trim, mixture, prop. Oh, there we go. As you can see, we're climbing about 2,000 feet a minute, 80 miles per hour. And the Mako will do that as long as I'm by myself. Uh, it's a pretty decent climb performance. Okay, that was VX, VY, about 100 to 110, 25 squared. Flaps are coming out, trim. That's it. Left downwind, 28, Statesville. I get a lot of questions about uh, Mako and Mako's performance. Um, I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. This would be the third hyperbike I've flown. Uh, it's one of the lightest. When we bought the aircraft, it, uh, it was in a little bit of a disarray. Uh, we took a lot of weight out of it. 30, 39 pounds, I think. Carpet, some of the old avionics. Uh, we put solid state, lightweight stuff back in here. And uh, we're really weight conscious during the rebuild. A lot of people ask me about the performance numbers on the machine. So I'm here at 2,500 feet. I'm indicating 150 to 155 miles per hour. Uh, right now we're getting 175 miles per hour across the ground. Obviously we have some winds out of the north. Uh, 25, 24 squared at 10.7 gallons per hour, rich of peak, and uh, you know it's a it's a fast little airplane for what it is and what it burns. Uh, it's got a nice baggage compartment. It's really decent. Cross country airplane. I gotta say I'm uh, I'm really impressed with the with the performance. Uh, we're extremely happy. Plus. The airplane looks unstable, but it's actually super stable in flight. There's hands off. Hands off. So a lot of you guys are asking about uh, aerobatic performance also. The hyperbipe is stressed to plus six and minus five and flight tested to much, much more than that, from what I understand. 25 inches manifold pressure, 2600 RPM, mixture rich at 4,000 feet. Uh, we're going to dive for 180 and loop the airplane. 160, 170, 180. Up, up, up. Relax the back pressure. Coming out the back side. Okay, four point roll. One, two, three, four. We're gonna pull a barrel roll to the left. There's a 90 degree heading change. 10 to 15 degrees those up. Fly seat through the horizon. And right back. Wings level. Level with the horizon on heading. Uh, how about a vertical roll with a Humpty bump out the top? I suck at these. Sitting side by side, 
Vertical rolls are really tough for me. Statesville Transit, clear jet. Three, five, three, half vertical roll. Bumpy bump. Off the back side, stop, and vertical roll on the down line. Back on heading. Okay, uh, let's do a hammerhead. So, once again, we're going to dive for about 180 for most of the vertical maneuvers. There's 180, actually about 190. To the vertical, up, 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 up. A little left rudder, a little right stick, a little forward stick. Okay, another maneuver that I'm not real great at, but I've been working on, is the avalanche. Okay, it's basically a loop with a snap roll on the top. So, let's try one. There's 180, 190. I'm gonna pull a little tighter than normal, so I can have some energy coming across the top. Okay, there's a snap. Back to straight and level. Yeah, lost about 100. So the hyperbike is never going to be an extra 300. It's not a fiberglass monoplane. It's uh, it's just decent aerobatic performance. Cross country capability with quite a bit of gas in the baggage compartment. It is a Swiss Army knife. I'm gonna do a couple of simultaneous rolls here. There's one, two, we're burning energy, and we got three, and we're still on heading. All right, there's your Hyperbike Aerobatic Demo. All right, so landing the Mako, really not all that complicated. Fuel injected, there is no carb heat, mixture prop, Bas basically a standard gumps check. We're on the downwind here for a 2200 foot strip called Spear, which is where we keep it. We're in the flap arc, I'm going to pull full flaps, so that's one action. Uh, landing to the north here, we have to come in through a grove of trees, it's a little more tricky. The strip is not flat, but it's a plateau. So it may look to the uh, layman like we're <laughs> somewhat subterranean. Um, so what I have to do is get down low and kind of climb the hill to burn off some energy to three-point this thing on. And make it ooze base final, Spearfield runway two, full stop. I'm approaching about 90. Uh, I don't really consider 2200 a short field. Um, 1100, half of that would be a short field to me. So that would warrant about 80 on the approach speed, but the nose starts getting high and it gets a little uncomfortable. So, don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a big cedar tree right in the way. We're hoping to cut that thing down. So I'm clear of the cedar tree. I'm going to dip down here to the bottom of the hill. Okay, level it out. We're bleeding through 80, coming across the top of the knoll. Stick, full back. There's a full stall, stick, full back. Very little dancing on the pedal. Slide bit of crosswind, so I've got a little right stick in there. Decelerating, looking good. Oh man, no problem. My cub buddies are always amazed that uh, but I can go out and fly some of these strips with them. Looks like uh, Rick's here. My dad's here, so we're going to move the Varga up front so he can have easy access. I'm going to leave the airplane sitting here in the ditch. Uh, hey, thanks for watching.